Trophy Fish Hunter is brought to you by Castaic Swim Baits, the original swim bait company, American Tackle Company, Reaction Strike, number one in swim baits, Bulldog Rods, tough as a dog and that ain't no bull, Dishes Fishing, Ducket Fishing, Power Pole Shallow Water Anchor, Fish Hard, Stormer, V&M, give the fish what they really want. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Fish Hunter. I'm back up here in Green Bay. I'm back up here with Captain Brett. We're going to have a great day today. You know, I filmed up here a couple of weeks ago. It's early April right now. I was up here toward the middle of March, and we had such an unbelievable time catching big, giant walleyes, big pike, everything. It was just amazing. I had to come back because Brett told me, if you think it's good now, you got to be back up here when they're in the river. So. Here we are, we're in the Peshtigo River. We're gonna see what happens today. What do you think, Brett? I think this should be a good day. There's a lot of fish starting to push up here. Uh, most of the fish are still pre-spawned, so they're still, they still have the big bellies. Yep. Um, we got a nice day, so I think it's gonna, gonna be a good, good day for us. If it's anything like my other times up here with you, it's gonna be incredible. So let's see what happens, and hopefully we'll catch some big ones today. All right, we got a variety of different baits we're going to use today, but as you can see, all of them are soft plastics. So we've got paddle tails, we've got straight tails, we've got grub styles, uh, we've got ribbon tails, but uh, we're going to try to ply the waters here with soft plastics, working near the bottom, kind of in a rip jig type technique. We're going to see what happens and what colors they like and what styles they like, and uh, we'll figure it all out. Yeah, the goal today is we're going to be hopping around. I got a nice deep hole right here. And we're gonna hit like two or three different spots with these deeper holes. Those females are just pulling in, like I said. Yep. They're gonna sit in these deep holes, and when the timing is right, then they head up towards the dam and uh, do their thing up there. But we should uh, we should get a few today, I hope. All right, let's do it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Up on the shallow edge. Yeah, shallow yeah, yeah. One. He's a small one. He's a small one, but he's. a good one. Yeah, all right. He's coming, Brett. He's coming. There he goes. Oh, he didn't like this at all. I'm bringing him right to you. All right. First fish. That didn't take very long. Two casts. Two casts. Walleye. Awesome. Look at that. And he chowed it down, too. Hooked right in the bottom of the mouth. Beautiful. This place is just phenomenal. I've been here, I think this is the fifth day I fished up here with uh, Brett, and it's just one day's better than the next. It's just amazing. The consistency of it, the quantities, and the uh, quality is just fantastic. That's a small fish, but it's a beautiful fish. Now this time of year, you're allowed to keep one fish. Yep. Um, so that would actually be a good size to keep if you want to keep one to eat, but we're gonna let it go anyway. Okay, man, sounds good. One thing with the technique we're using today, we're fishing deeper holes, but there's a lot of current coming through these holes. So you want to, first of all, have the right size jig where you can maintain bottom contact. What I like to do is cast out, let it go down to the bottom, and all you're doing is just fast rip. When you have the right current, you can actually just rip it and keep it in the same spot. Now every once in a while, I'll just crawl it slowly back towards me. So you got that paddle tail just working. If you notice when I sweep back, I always keep my line taunt. It's always tight because that's when they're gonna bite when I drop them back. So if you have too much slack in your line, you're gonna miss those bites and not feel them. So it's very critical to work your rod right. And sometimes it's a hard thing to, to train yourself to do, but you will catch a lot more fish if you practice this technique.
halfway decent one here. Oh yeah, that's a that's a better fish for sure. Oh man, he's not liking this at all. Look at Balls the size wide of that open. <laughs> that's a good one right there, Brett. Nice. Oh, there he is! Got him! <laughs> awesome! Way to go! Way to go! Look at that! Chewed that jig! That's a male there. You can tell he's got the skinny belly. Not mil oh, yeah, he's still milking. They're chowing it down. Now, that, yeah, you're using there. That, that's a jerky J swim right there. That's a Castaic jerky J swim. Yeah, I like the, I like the big paddle, the thumping paddle you get out of that. You got a good feel. So. Yeah. And when you got the current, when you're reeling against the current, that paddle tail is just bang, bang, right. bang. That's loud and... All right, well, we'll get this one back in the water and catch some more. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, there's, there's something I want to show you guys. I came across this uh, through saltwater fishing. It's real common in, uh, to use these flats lock style hooks with the screw lock for saltwater fishing. But once I saw it, I thought this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'll never use a hook anything different than this again. So basically what this is, this is a reaction strike flats lock hook. It's got a screw on it, as you can see. You thread it, it's just like any other plastic. You just thread the plastic on, you keep pushing it until it starts to turn right around the corner there. And then you come through like you would any other, uh, any other jig head. You push it all the way up to the plastic. Now you might wonder, what do I do now? Well, what you do now is you start turning the bait. So you twist it around. Usually three or four turns is how many you have to make to get it all the way on. But what's incredibly cool about this is once you've got the bait set, it will never come off. I mean, never. It's, it's on there and it's on there good. So you straighten it out. You get it, you get it nice so that the, uh, the paddle tail is the way you want it. But here, check this out. You cannot pull it off. The only way this thing's going to ever fail is when eventually you get the tail bit off. Yeah, this is the one we're looking for here. Right. Got some weight. Weight on. Oh, I see it now. It's a, it's a oh, freaking it's giant. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. God, are you kidding me? That Dude, this is, is a mongo right here. This is a walleye saurus right here. Holy cow! Look at the size of that thing. Can't hardly move her. I know. Current. I know. I know. It's crazy. I got a stump on. I don't want to reach on this. I want to make yeah, sure we get make it. Make sure you scoop that one deep so she don't get off. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, God. Get her, get her, I got her, I got her, I got her. Oh. Oh. Ricky had me scooped there. Well, I was a little nervous too, but I didn't want to reach. But then again, I had to because I, oh, I don't think you, could, you couldn't bring that fish up against the current. That is a big fish. Oh. Holy cow, Brad, look at the gut on that thing. What do you think that fish weighs right there? Oh, uh, that one's That's gotta probably be. 28 inch. And then when they get that big belly on a 28 inch, probably nine, nine Yeah, I was gonna pounds. say, look at the size of that fish, man. That is a freaking pig. Holy cow. Smile that's for the piece. camera. Holy cow, Brett, that's an awesome fish right there. Way to go. So that's cool to see these big pre-spawners starting to come up these rivers now, so. For sure, that is an awesome one right there. Good job. We'll have great fishing too. When, when you see these that are still pre-spawn, you got three weeks of great fishing in these rivers. There she goes. Oh, that's, that's a nice sight right there. That's beautiful right there. You got a trophy walleye and it yeah. swims off beautifully. Somebody else is going to have fun catching that fish. If not, that fish is going to produce millions and millions of fish just like it for this uh, fishery to be great for the next year and years after that. Yeah, we got a strong fishery here in Green Bay the last like 10 years now. There's been no planting of any walleyes. These are all naturally producing fish. Yep. Um, we did have the DNR planted a bunch years back but it's self-sustaining now. That's awesome. And it's only getting better and better every year. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It can't get any better than this, man. That's just 10 pounder after 10 pounder. Let's Incredible. See can, let's see if we can get one more. All right, let's do it. Ha, ha, ha. 
Nice. We're coming straight. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Good deal. That's a little bit better. Nothing like yours, but that's a nice fish right there. Oops. Now you can see this one has been in here for a while because you can once they get that sand texture to them, they yep. turn a little bit lighter of that golden color. Yep. So you can tell this one's been in the river for a while. Nice. Sweet fish right there. Awesome. Get that one back. Let's put it back in and uh, let's go catch another one. a good handful out of it here right and 10 minutes without a bite what I like to do is to leave and go hit a fresh hole let's do it and we can always come back here later if we have to but I don't like wasting time when they're not biting usually the active fish are gonna hit right away and I think we got the active ones out of this hole so we'll go hit the next hole up the river okay sounds great let's yeah. do it one thing too in navigating these rivers if you don't know where you're going, you better be going slow because there's rock bars and gravel bars and stumps. And oh, yeah. So I know where all the channels are to where to get through here safe, but if you don't, you better be going slow because you're going to hit stuff for sure. Yeah, some bad stuff, too. Coming into this Peshtigo River, there are some nasty, nasty stick-ups and uh, that whole like pier area back there that was uh, going out into the water. Yeah, you got to know where you're going in a river. Or go slow, like you said. Just slid in here. There's a great hole right here. It drops down to about eight, nine feet. Okay. Actually, tying off to some brush right here under shore. It works good. <laughs> I do it a lot. That's a great idea. Um, so you get lined up perfectly in these little eddies. And it's kind of windy today, so we're out of the wind here. It's nice and comfortable. So we're going to work this hole. This is usually a home run hole right here. So. All right. Well, if it's any better than the last one, it's going to be a home run. So All right. let's do it. Fish right there, dude. Holy cow. Yeah, that thing's in that current, man. He's honking. Grab the net. Oh, stand down deep. Not right here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> is there Ooh, any? This is the biggest one so far. Oh, oh, you missed her. Oh, holy crap. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here she comes. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh. Doesn't want to come in. Ready? Oh! Are you? Kidding? That's what we're looking for, bud. Wow! Wowzers! That is what we are that looking for. That is a for. giant walleye. That's bigger than the last one. Look at that thing! Holy that, crap! That is about a 29-inch pre-spawn. That is a right giant. There. Look at the size of that fish. Holy cow! That's a big boy. That is a big walleye. That's what trophy fish hunters all about, man. We're we're not interested in catching a bunch of small fish. I'd rather fish all day and catch one of those. That is a monster. Brett, let's get that big fish back in the water. Sounds good. That's the future of the uh, Green Bay fishery right there. That's serious genetics right there on that fish. Right here, both the same. 
I'm coming. No. No. Oh. <laughs> well, that was beautiful. They swam into the net. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh my God, this is crazy, man. This is just crazy. We just pulled into the spot. Brett said this is this was a great spot. And I think, what do we have? Like four or five fish out of this spot already. It's crazy. That was the first double header. That was like, I hooked up, oh, Brett hooked up. Barely hooked. Look yeah, at that. just nipped it, huh? Right Unbelievable. The there you go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. There you go. These are, uh, looks like two males here. Yep, two beautiful walleyes. These are good eaters. Oh yeah. But we're not going to eat these. We're going to let these bad boys go, and somebody else will have fun catching these I'll soon. Let them both go on the side here. All right. farther down than where we started there's another good hole we're gonna go hit down there so. okay awesome right. yeah it's been incredible so far I'll tell yeah, you what. There's, a, there's actually more fish up in the river already than I thought there would be so they're actually pushing pretty good up right now is this normally when they come up in the yeah. beginning part of April yeah usually like early April to mid April depending on the year but yeah right around that time frame. okay Perfect. You know, some years are a little later some a little earlier but well, we've had a definitely, I, I mean, it ha has to have been a very warm winter for you, or a very, yeah, warm winter for you guys. Yeah, it was pretty mild winter. Spring. We had an early ice out this year, and so everything was like a week or two ahead of time. So right, we're right. On schedule this year, but we had a little cool down there for a while, which slowed things down, so. Okay. Well, so far, so good. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. And we got some serious weight here, boys and girls. This is a big fish. Crashing up on top right there. Yep. Oh, there it is on the surface. Oh my God. Brett, this is a giant fish. This is a giant fish. Brenner up right behind this kicker motor here. This is a giant fish. Oh. Oh, yeah, here she goes. Oh, there it is on the top. Oh my God. Are you okay. kidding me? There it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. That, that is a heavy fish. Beast. That is a giant fish. Look at the size of that fish. Look at the gut. That is a enormous look at the, gut. Look at this. That's my hand against that thing. That is a giant. Wow. Holy cow. Holy cow, that's a monster. That is a monster. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh my God, guys. That is a giant. Brett, you are the master. I'll tell you what, I don't know what it is. Every time I come up here, it is one beast after the next. Look at that. What do you think this, that's gotta be? Uh, she's uh, 11 plus. She's got the girth and the length, everything. Uh, that's a monster. That is a monster fish. Let's let this one go and let's see if we can get another one. That's unbelievable. quick and then uh, this one's a little bit bigger I think. Okay. That means you got some weeds wrapped around here. Where are you at? Oh Brad? this one's a lot bigger. Oh, oh yeah. Oh she's down on oh that is a really big fish man. Oh my god Brett. Oh my god. Oh look at oh. the colors of there. She is beautiful. That is a oh. beast. <laughs> look at the stripes of vertical bars. That fish is a beast. That's oh, bigger than the last one. That's a giant. That's right got to be a 12 pound fish. Yeah, she's, I would say, a solid 11 and a half, if oh, not 12 pound God, right that's there. A, that's a monster. Let me get this thing unhooked. Guys, I don't know how it can get any better than this. We're going to wrap this up. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Trophy Fish Hunter. Yeah, there you go. That fish <laughs> could eat this fish. It can't get any better than this. That's, that's, 
between that fish and the fish that I just caught, that's over 20 pounds of walleye on two fish. It doesn't get any better than this. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing next week, but I promise you this, we're gonna be chasing after trophy fish somewhere in North America. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.